Hi guys, it's me Sharon, and welcome back to Creative Glam. Today we're doing mini topiaries. I don't think they need much explanation because they're topiaries, but just miniature size. Thanks for tuning in, and before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the like button. I hope you're interested in seeing how I do my miniature topiaries, and if so, stay tuned. This is what you need to get started. Okay, let's get started. I'm making four mini topiaries. I've already added the styrofoam into the bottoms of the pots. I'm gonna move some of these things out of the way to give myself a little more space to work with here. I am going to paint my skewers. Um, I wanted to do it a brown color, but all I have is this antique, uh, antique copper. So I'm gonna go with the antique copper paint and paint these skewers. This is spot. Even though this end is really gonna be hidden. shouldn't take but a minute to dry because it's just one little thin coat of um, brown paint. Nothing major. Okay, these to the side. While I'm waiting for the skewers to dry, I can go ahead and start the topiary. I got these balls from Walmart. Look at that one, it's smashed. Look at that, look how it's shaped. It was supposed to be a circle. <laughs> okay, I'll make it work. The styrofoam came from Walmart. The pots came from Michaels. The ribbon came from Michaels. The Chanel stems came from Michaels. The little, uh, floral beads came from Dollar Tree. The moss came from Dollar Tree. Okay. But that's one. What I'm gonna do is kind of mix it. I kind of like the variegated look. Not to mention that the, the, the floral moss is really dry and the reindeer moss is really moist. And it's not what I expected. It's not a problem, it's just not what I expected. I kind of like the variegated look. I thought I wanted it just all green, but I kind of like the two-tone. You know another idea, guys, would be to, and it will make it a lot easier. This project could have went a lot simpler. 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 And I thought about it, but I, I didn't take the time to go and find them, was the kissing balls. You know, you could use boxwood kissing balls. And, you know, they're already made. You know, you don't have to go through this process. So that would be a simpler method. I mean, it may cost a little more than... Um, it may cost a little more, but I think that would be a nice look as well. I might try that next. Because I thought about it, I just didn't take the time to go and locate it.
still have four of the little mini balls to go. Cover it with hot glue and then I cover it with the moss. Then I kind of roll it around in my hand. I found that kind of gets it to adhere a little better. And then I go and trim them, shape them up with scissors. My suggestion also is that maybe the balls themselves should be green as opposed to white. Um, I'm not having that big of a problem, but it is, um, it is something that I think about now. You're more likely to see little bald spots because they're white. As opposed to, you know, had they been green, they would blend a little better and probably wouldn't take as much moss. So I plug in the bald areas, I roll it around in my hand while the glue is still a little warm. Pull off the excess, then I take my scissors and I trim them up to get all the stray. Take my scissors, shape it up. All right, that's it, guys. Ooh. Okay, guys, we're all done now. I think they turned out gorgeous. I added a few beads to the center ball on the ones in the front. I considered doing all of them, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do all of them. I think I just wanted it as an accent on those two. I wanna thank you for tuning in. I want you to come back next week. I want you to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification button. I upload new videos every week. I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you next week. Bye.